Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore a backup file to QuickBooks Desktop 2022. In my example, I have a backup that I've taken and now I need to restore the backup. If I double click on the backup file, nothing will happen. It will not open my QuickBooks file. So I want to show you how to restore a backup just in case you find yourself needing to restore a backup. So what I'll want to do is open up my QuickBooks file. So I, I've opened my QuickBooks and I have this screen that says no company open. And I'm like, well, that's true. There is no company open. At the bottom of my list, I have a couple options. I can create a brand new file. That's great, but not what I need. I can open or restore an existing file. That is exactly what I need. And then over to the right, I can open a sample file, which is amazing, but not what I need. I'm going to select the middle option to open or restore a file. So here's my options. I'm going to pick option number two, restore a backup. At the bottom, I'll select next. Where is the backup saved? It's saved locally. I didn't put any place fancy. I just saved it on my computer desktop. So I'll click next. It knows to go to my desktop. If it didn't, you can just select desktop and be like, that's where I put it. If you put it in your downloads, if you put it somewhere else, just navigate to wherever you saved it. I will select my backup copy. If I have multiple backups, what I do like about this is that the file name always includes the date and timestamp so that I know which one I'm restoring. Am I restoring the copy of QuickBooks that I intend to restore? I'll select open. I'll select next. Here QuickBooks is asking where would I like to save my file? In this example, I'm going to save it to my desktop. I would not ever encourage you to save your QuickBooks file to your desktop. I'm just putting it there because I want to make a different video to show how to put it into QBox. So I'm going to say demo file, um, and then I'm going to add more words to it. So restore 10-25-2022. I don't want to overwrite the existing QuickBooks file. Just in case I had a, a file and I'm opening my backup because I want to look at something, because whatever, I don't want to save over the top of my old data. So I just give it a slightly different name. Now you and I both know there is no existing QuickBooks on this desktop, but just make believe with me that I had an existing file and I'm giving it a name and I've explained why I've done that. I select save. I'll just give it a moment to think. All right. So I have restored my backup. This is my QuickBooks. It's funny over here. It says that you haven't backed up your data and I'm like, that's how this got here. I made a backup. But what I can do is I can go file and I can go close company. I can see this is the file that I've recently opened that I last opened it today at 2.30. So this is my mid afternoon project and that it's located on my Mac on home on desktop. You guys can see that I'm on a Mac. I use parallels so that I can get to my windows software. So that's it. That's, that's the whole trick for restoring a backup. I hope this video has been helpful. If you need anything, if you have any questions, anything like that, you're more than welcome to reach out. My contact information is rachel at gentlefrog.com. My website is gentlefrog.com. Thank you so much.